to the Ross Patterson Revolution. Brought to you by GhostBed.com. Ooh, James. Ooh. Burn. What? You burned me. I burned you? I get a little I get a little fire on my face over the weekend. That's what I call sunburn these days. Put a little fire, fire on my in your face. Are you, is that a real plant you're watering there? Yes. Uh, subscribe on YouTube to watch Shabe's watering her plants to start the show Whoopsie, all over the desk. don't get it on the leaves, you guys. <laughs> and then this will perk right back up. Yep. Okay, and just a little bit of plant. Um, nah, it's going to die. Plant care. It's going to die. Video. Uh, the ladies did it, Jabes. They won. It was really fun. It was. It was. A um, lot of controversy. But uh, not only did they win in uh, record fashion, yeah. most uh, consecutive wins in World Cup history, but it was pretty dominant. It, it could have easily been 5-6-0, to zero, and they were just a hair off on some of their shots. But 2-0 uh, for the ladies, World Cup champions. I mean, not bad. I, I took a lot of heat on my Instagram. I don't know about, was it heat? Or was it like People, uh, there's other factors involved, which is true? Well, well, we'll talk about why and what I said. And sure, look, I'm not saying I started this trend, but uh, the second the game was over, I just made a simple statement on my Instagram at st james st james. Selfless plug. I'm not even doing that for me. I'm doing that for others. Uh, and I just said, pay them. Right. Pay them what they deserve. Pay them the equivalent of the men or more. They started this lawsuit before the, this even Correct. happened, right? And um, so then but about an hour later after the game, the, the, the phrase pay them mm -hmm. started trending hour and a half on Twitter. Mm -hmm. And I'm in 100% agreeance. On my Instagram feed, I got, I, I, I would say it was 50-50 of like, hey, this is rad. Hey, fuck you. Here's why they don't deserve to get paid. I looked at the numbers right now because they just came out for the ratings. Mm -hmm. 20 million is how many that tuned in uh, okay. to watch that game yesterday. Right. Which is 20% higher than the finals of the World Cup for men. Now, granted, U.S. men weren't in it um, in the championship sure. for, uh, for the World Cup. But guess what? The U.S. men didn't even make the World Cup as a whole. They didn't even fucking qualify. Um, and, and if you're looking at a 20 share... Which, for anybody at home who's non-Hollywood-wise, that's the equivalent of probably about the second round of the NFL playoffs. That's what dudes are bringing in. All of this money that is being negotiated in the four major sports, the NBA, uh, Major League Baseball, NHL, and... Uh, fuck, what's the, what's the NFL? Um, is simply based on ratings. And TV ad revenue, and that's how you're getting more money for these things. The men were paid, if, if the U.S. men would have won. Now, the U.S. men are never going to win at soccer. Uh, Sorry. I don't think I'm going to see it in my lifetime. I'm being completely dead honest no, with you. No, no, yeah. Um, if the U.S. men would have won, they would have won $38 million. The U.S. women did win, and they received four. Right. The disparity in that is bananas to me. I mean, absolutely fucking bananas. Not only is it a funner game to watch. Has it reflected in the ratings every year or is it just Yes, this so year? the ratings keep going up for okay. the women every single year. Okay. And I'm, I'm trying to find an argument here for, for why they're not getting paid. Because you could say this, right? You, you look at the MLS soccer, which is the Major League Soccer uh, I guess it's, it's the biggest in America, but it's the only thing we have in America. Mm -hmm. So it's weird because you could play around the world and make a gajillion dollars more. Um, the ladies really don't have that. And mm -hmm. I, I could see you making a case for being paid less here because the talent level would be so, so much further down than, than um, the men's is. But 
other than that, I, I, I can't. I can't find a reasonable argument for if you play in the World Cup, you're getting X amount of dollars versus if you're playing in the World Cup for females, you're not making the same. I don't understand it. I Jersey think- sales the last three weeks, by the way, this is something else I want to bring up. The highest sold jerseys in America in any sport have been U.S. women's soccer jerseys. Again, the revenue you're bringing in from from that, right? So I think I think it will change this next year. But the the wave of even that needing to change uh, is very new. Yeah. I, I so mean, if their ratings really do match, if they really do make them the money that twenty um, percent higher than the men's World Cup finals in the United States last last the last go round for the right. World Cup, I don't know how you argue with that. I really do don't just go from, and simply see from a number the guys standpoint. play year round more stadiums. Uh, yeah, yeah, but they have they have like, different they have more opportunities than the women, right? So you take last night. There was a game on last night. There's this thing called the Gold Cup, which is I want to say it's 12 to 16 countries that compete for it: um, Jamaica, Mexico, U- USA, uh, a handful of other countries. It's it, it's a shitty cup to me. It doesn't really mean anything mm-hmm. other than hey, you have 16 teams that are not so great, countries that are not so great. Like the, the heavy hitters like Brazil, France, Spain, Germany, those guys aren't in it. Um, so it's kind of a shitty thing. Last night, the USA men's team made the finals against Mexico. And it was at Soldier Field in Chicago, home game, okay. sold out, and they lost. Now, they weren't playing the best in the world like the women's were. Women were in the World Cup. They just beat everyone in the, in the entire world. The right. men were trying to play shitty 16 teams that are kind of near here, including Mexico, which right. Mexico is not, not, not that fucking great at soccer. And they lost 1-0. Right. USA didn't even score a goal um, against this team. I don't know how you justify it. I, I, I really don't. Like, and I'm, I'm trying to find some silver lining because, look, usually I don't side with this shit at all. At all. Um, WNBA is garbage compared to the NBA. It's not even close. They don't bring in the ratings, the people, the fans, the anything remotely close to the NBA. That's why the salaries are different. Uh, NFL, there is no competition for the NFL. That is the single most watched sport in America. I understand why they're making the money they're making. Major League Baseball, they don't have professional softball or anything in that realm. So, uh, this is the only sport that you can kind of compare it to. And the women are just dominant. Start with the World Cup. Start by just paying them that World Cup number once every four years and then go from there. And I think, like I said, they settled on uh, mediation. So I think something like that must happen because everyone, it's a PR thing and everyone wants to come out looking good, right? Right. So it'll be... You know, they'll say whatever they need to say as far as this year they brought in, you know, so much more than blah, blah. We decided to, you know, pay them what they're worth and we win and they win and right. everybody wins. But um, that's happening now. So they had to get to the end of it, prove that uh, that it was going to be worth it. And then I, I do believe that it will happen. So the thing of pay them, it's like, I think they probably are. I don't know how you. I don't know how they walk away from it at this point with this much uh, controversy. And they definitely brought this to the forefront before it even started. Right. For that reason. So that every time they fucking dominated, pay them or whatever it was, came up. And it was always in the conversation. So I don't think, I don't think they can at this point get away with not. It's just a matter of what they all decide is going to be fair. Sure. Um, so, yeah. and, you know. Look, I, I, I will say this, like the, the one negative out of this tournament is if you want to be paid and treated fairly like the, the men and all that other shit, um, and you're in a, you're, not, you're representing the United States, the fuck Trump comments aren't, aren't they're not helping you whatsoever. Rapino, the girl who won uh, the golden boot, which is mm. the equivalent of the MVP of the World Cup. But the guys teams are doing that all over across the board in every sport. Um, Steph Curry, LeBron James, like so totally. Uh, that's not even but, part but they're of not, the they're conversation. They're not representing the United States on a on a global level. So like they didn't do it at the Olympics. So they took that off, right? Okay. 
So on the global stage where you're representing the country, mm -hmm. that's a tough one to say, fuck the president of your own country. Right. Steph Curry and those guys and the NFL players are doing it here on U.S. soil. They're playing for United States teams only and their, their state or their city teams. That's it. You're at a local level, not a global level. That would be the only negative that I look at uh, mm -hmm. in this when it's you're representing your country on a yeah. global stage. Save it for when you get back home and then you can do whatever the fuck you want at that point. But yeah. Uh, and I guess I will say, you know, lastly, like I have never really not not that I'm not in favor of women being paid more. I just feel like we have if you go through life the way that most women do, which is, you know, get married, have kids, have other responsibilities. Um, you just won't be available in the way that a man will. And that's just as shitty as it is, just how it is right now. So until that changes, you still, you can't get paid in any other field that isn't like this. Like this is a example of it actually working where you are, you know, the ratings are smashing. Yeah. The people are coming out, the Jersey sales, like you have hard numbers on it. It, well, look, if you're doing the same job and you're performing better, you do get paid more. Exactly. Um, even actresses. Like, right. You know, you have but if the we're Sandra Bullock's and Jennifer the real, Lawrence's. And, the real workplace other than industry, other than right. people that are in the, the public eye, the main, you know, wage inequality is because of that. And so until, you know, child care can be free or something like this, um, there's no way that we can equally work as much and be as focused as men in the workplace. So it sucks, but that's more of the problem than the pay or the, the people at, top, at the top right? not paying you. It's not like, in a lot of instances, it's not that they don't want to. It's just there's a guy right there that doesn't have to leave at a certain time, that isn't focused on kids, whatever, and he is willing to work, and you have to have your maternity leave, your this, you need to leave at this time, the kid's sick, whatever, and that's just how it goes. That's how it is right now. Um, that's so why the I, I pay treat, I, inequality just always, it's always such a weird that's why topic I treat, because that never comes up. It's always just like, oh, we don't get paid. It's like, we don't get paid because we have to take care of the family as of right now. So that needs to change first. So it's not anybody else's fault. I mean, it is, like I said, free, free childcare would help with that. If it didn't cost you money to have somebody watch your kids, you could do the same work, right? Right. So that's the main problem. It's not these corporations. It's not the guys at the top. It's not the, oh, please help us. It's that kind of thing, which I don't know how that even ever happens. So look, we could pay the same because I, I made you uh, when you were going into labor, mm -hmm. do a show live on air. Mm -hmm. So, you right. know, um, and that's just the way it has, you know, it's the way it has to be. Yeah. You know, you, you finished the show in time and didn't get and give birth on air, but I wasn't going to stop it if you, you know, well, I would have been fired. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because that's just how it goes. Yes. If you can't do the show in labor. Sorry. You're fired. Yeah. You're fired. And that's pretty much how it goes it is it is yeah but I, look i was amped to see them win uh th there's been a lot of talk about the brashness and the the way that they played the arrogance and all that shit if you're going to to talk shit you better win in dominating fashion that's all they did all tournament and it, i think to me personally a acting that way helped their cause of we are the best we are the best in the world. We want to be treated as such. And uh, I thought it was really cool at, right afterwards. They're actually going to throw them a ticker tape parade in New York City, which is fucking awesome. That's crazy. So that's exactly the way you would treat a men's team if mm -hmm. they won. And uh, I, yeah, I think I that's mean, I awesome. Think it's, it's coming around. And, and especially with them, at least. They and will it's get, exciting to watch. They will get paid. Yeah. Like, it's exciting play to watch. You, you saw the game. Like, yeah. the pacing. The, it's, it's fun to watch. Uh, WNBA is not fun to watch. No. It is a different style that sucks. Um, <laughs> this, though, man, I was in for... I, I don't MMA think we missed the match. One. I think we talked about this with Justin when he was here. Like, 
that's another one where they're starting to dominate and get the ratings not quite as much but they are getting no there. look and 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 the pay but the pay is matched when ronda rousey was at her height she was the highest paid athlete in the sport so you know it it does change if you're the greatest it, it does change like you ronda rousey changed the, the game in that so yeah that and then even the in the, the wwe right now like the female oh, yeah. wrestlers are fucking huge now like, dude, it's Charlotte Flair, who's Ric Flair's daughter. She dominates. Mm -hmm. um, Ronda Rousey's now in WWE. That's right. Um, you have that show on E, the Bellas. That's right. All those chicks, like, dude, they're making a, not only a lot of cash, but they're branding the fuck out of themselves in a great way. And uh, oh, yeah. it's possible. It's oh, all yeah. possible. But uh, g congratulations to them. It was really fun to watch, and I enjoyed it. And uh, we watched it with the kids. It was awesome. Loved it. Yeah. Yeah. I had a really good time. Um, I, uh, <laughs> I want to talk about this Renee Zellweger trailer that came out her playing Judy Garland. No. Yeah. Good or bad? You didn't tell me about it. It's good. I, it's just the full trailer dropped this morning. Um, uh -huh. There was a clip of it. Maybe, I don't know, I talked about it maybe four or five months ago. The full trailer dropped this morning. She might, she might get nominated for an Oscar for it because she can really sing. I don't know if oh, you yeah, know yeah, this. Yeah, yeah, she yeah. was attached to play Joplin at one point, Janis Joplin, in the movie that they can never, ever make. Just don't like her, though. 58 million people have been Just attached to like play her. Janis Joplin at some point. You know, I, I'm fine with her. I'm fine. She's kind of a snooze. So is it, is it like this? What is, what is no, it's not, it's not over the top, which okay. is why, why it works. But she is singing <laughs> well, in it, and it's her Chris, voice. They didn't want Kristen Wiig, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, oh! Yeah. <laughs> is this lamp on? <laughs> yeah. They didn't want you rolling which around is that in there. They, this, yeah, so I didn't get the call. No. Um, which is weird, because I do a Judy. So, <laughs> widely known that I do, do a Judy Garland, so... Wow. You well, and the your story sweet alone, Judy. Yeah, the story alone is going to be amazing because that family is uh, interesting. Yeah, They've it's a, got it's a, a crazy lot one. Of, yeah, and lots of drug stuff, which is so fun. Oh, always mm. a blast. Yeah. If yeah. it's any form of singer, there's going to be drugs involved. Has to be. So. Same with podcasters, you know. Fuck it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's just such a rough life, you know, on the road and schedule yeah it is a hard knock life isn't it <laughs> um it is uh we watched uh bll yep big little eyes was uh we got streaked streaked again we dude streaked we're getting streaked this whole season face. Dude, not as good as last I season i am ready for this streak to end yeah blammo boom bang blammo um yeah it's just not the really it's a bonus. It's a it's an extra season, by the way, right? Because the first one was the book, correct? Beginning and end, it's supposed to be done. Yep. White people ruin everything. Bring it back again. It was a book. That's it. It's done. Yeah. But we liked it so much. We want more. All right, cool. I guess we'll throw together some shit, put Streep in there, and hopefully you're happy. Not great. No. And it feels that way to me. It yeah. feels like they're just fucking. Okay, I mean, let's try and make it. I mean, Lan Moriarty or whatever is involved, but it's different when it is a, a, a whole book that's been out forever that people, you know, that because she's awesome and has a bunch of books that people love, right? Yeah. So I think it's different as opposed to a teleplay that's thrown together. Don't you believe or no? It is, yeah. And it's know. tough and because it was so loved. I don't think they had a choice to bring it back, and they probably backed up the truck. Like, I saw that they haven't revealed what Reese's uh, salary is and all this. Oh, talk about getting paid probably more than well, the I, guys. Well, the only salary that got leaked. Oh, yeah, they're getting way paid way more than guys. The only salary that got leaked was Amabella, the little girl. She's making 20K an episode. She didn't do anything. Nothing. She's barely even in it. Yeah, 20K an episode. So... God knows what the rest Dern of them are making. Dern is still Dern, which is like the whole reason that I come back, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dern is Lord the Dern. reason that I'm there. Yeah. Derny. Dern uh, dog. 
but yeah, it's it's not the same. And uh, you know, it's one of those like you just watch it to for it to be over. Yeah, because you don't you you you've been invested, but street street man. dog. And you know, I I just hate that people are so brainwashed that they're like, oh, have you seen street? Yeah. In big little lies, I mean so nuanced. <laughs> it's not nuanced, by the way. If you notice, they cut away from her in like a two shot, right? So like in a dialogue scene, it's usually I'm talking, camera's on me. Yep. Maybe a little cut off to you talking, right? And it kind yeah, of goes audio back and wise. Forth, audio wise. Um, if you notice, and you'll probably notice it now, a lot of the times when Streep is in a scene with someone else, they'll have the camera on the other person for like her whole scene, Mm -hmm. right? And what does that show you? She was too much. She was too big. She wasn't good enough for the camera to be on her the entire time. I'm That's telling huge. you though, they're going to give her an award and, it, and they have to, it's legal. I mean, as it's, far it's, as it's almost SAG, law. Yeah. It's law um, in SAG that Streep needs to get at least one award per year per year. Yeah. Yeah. Which is shitty. Breaking news though, Jabes, we got this in here. A Florida man. It's always a Florida man. What? Uh, pretending to be a police officer pulled over a wrong car. Uh, turns off he, it turns out he, he pulled off, uh, he pulled over sheriff's deputy. And this is an old story. <laughs> no, this is going on right now. <laughs> hmm. Holy shit. And it's not, it's not what, what you think. It's a normal looking white guy right now. Okay. Um, I'm pretty surprised by this. He told the deputy he could follow him back to the station so he could obtain and show him his credentials. Hmm. Ah, big fan of that one. Um, man, I can't believe that that's real. What do you mean? He said he was, he pull, he was using a functional siren box and a light setup oh, yeah. on his dash. Man, you can get that shit in Hollywood. I've thought about that before. What, those little... Be great. Like if somebody cut you off in traffic and then you just flash a badge and say, hey, mm-hmm. boy, why don't you pull the fuck on over? Right. You ever thought about that? No. Ah. Uh, I've crossed this my mind every single time. Where it was just like, man, if I had lights. I like doing the like where the people where they like flash open their wallet, like it's the PD, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But in in Los Angeles, you can get those like on all these movies. You can get pretty close to the real goddamn badges mm-hmm. uh, for, for the movies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I always thought about just buying one off of Arts Department and then just keeping it in the car. But this this is always this was always the biggest fear. You get it, it's a pretty hardcore charge. Oh, yeah. For shit like this, for impersonating a police officer. Yeah, Yeah. pretty huge. God, it'd be great, though, wouldn't it? Yeah. Why don't you get her on out of the car? Right. Anybody who cuts you up, just get her on out of the fucking car, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Bloop. Yeah. Bloop. Bloop, bloop. That would be sweet. Or if you're out somewhere. Like, I, I always think, too, like, you know, after that Super Bowl, that fucking New England fan came up to me. And I shouted him down. But it would have been awesome, too, to... To really give him a full cavity search as well on top of it. Sure. In front of everyone. Where it's like, hey man, pull down your fucking pants right now. Right. I think they would do it just out of fear. Oh yeah, definitely. Hey, I'm not going to pull down my pants. Now you're going to pull down your pants and I'm going to pull them down for you. <laughs> you know? And then just leave them there with their pants around their ankles. But out in a public setting. Out at a bar, at a restaurant, somewhere where you're Ooh. just like super That'd humiliated. The ultimate, and yeah, then walk burn. out. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The problem is there's so many cameras. They'd be like, hey man. Not only did you police, like, impersonate a police officer, then they made them pull down their pants in public. Like, mm-hmm. God, the lawsuits that would be pending. But that's just good old-fashioned fun, you know? I like the, the boldness, though, the brashness of this guy. Oh, I was in the Clearwater area, too. Lived there for a year. Oof. I, I get it. I kind of get it. Oh, man. Barry Lee Hastings Jr. Way to go, bud. I like how that's a breaking news story on CNN. That's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's, you know, it's a slow news day when that's your breaking news right. story um, on CNN. Uh, we got some sponsors. Pay for this whole shit to be on the air. I got to get to the sponsor shapes. We have to. Got to. Got to. First up, we got ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros. We have combined channels on YouTube. So subscribe on YouTube. Ross Patterson Revolution and Drinking Bros Podcast. 
is combined. We've opened a new media company. Ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros is our site for both shows. So go there and get the best mattress deals of your life. Everybody's getting these mattresses. In our neighborhood, it is. We've gotten one more family too that are like, okay, getting them for the kids. Yeah. Getting them for us. I know. Uh, big, big fans, man. Just because everyone is so stoked with it. They're like, yeah. all right. And in our neighborhood too, it's like, we all get, we all get the same car. We get the same thing. Well, you, if, dude, if you're getting this we much do. off a mattress. Yeah. And so they're like, okay, we're going to do it. Because you're usually the deals are like 200 bucks off a mattress. And it's like, hey man, yeah. mine as well. Uh, that like, this is the, this is the jam these days. And the pillows are amazing. Go to ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros today. If you're military or first responder, you get 15% off forever. Uh, also, they're still running their 4th of July deals. So go there. Hop on it. Jump on it, my you pony. Boink. 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 Everybody was amped after we, uh, we played that song the other day. It's so cringy. Yeah. I yeah, can't. I can't. Uh, mm -hmm. Ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros. As always, 36 months. No interest. Pay as you go program. No one is offering that on the internet. Love them. Um, and they're look at just peruse their deals, man. They got a bunch for 4th of July. Next up, we got StrikeForceEnergy.com. Shabloinkers. Shabloinkers. Four amazing flavors. No carbs, no sugars. Lemon, orange, a ridge. And make America grape again. 10-pack, 40-pack, 750-milliliter bottle. I'm drinking these all weekend. Had I gotta, to. I got to take the week off from drinking. We had oh a bunch gosh, of people in town. dude. I mean, we had Justin here, right? Mm -hmm. Parties for the fourth. Dan, Dan was here. We had a bunch of drinking Dan bros Dan was in. down to party. I yep. mean, shit. And then my book club calls. What did they say? They want to hang out tonight. That's, that's, that's crazy. Yep. It's probably the only time I'm going to say I can't. Can't do it. Yeah. Because, you know, I stayed up, stayed up late a couple nights, huh? Didn't yeah, you I? did. Didn't I? Yeah, you did. One of the nights till one. One o'clock. One, one thirty. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. Uh, a book club. Sorry, ladies. So Sorry, ladies. I already stayed up till one this month. Yeah, probably because from that strike force. We were drinking it with vodka all weekend. Um, Had to. It's pretty much the only white way these days to keep yourself in shape where it's, it's just true. clears. What do they call them? White liquors or mm -hmm. clears or wh whatever they are. Uh, that's why I say the white way because that's it. Um, the clear liquors and then no carbs and sugars in these little guys. And uh, you're up all night. You're ready to go. You're ready to rock. We had live shows straight into a kid's party, straight into a karaoke party. I mean, you have to keep it going. Yeah. And this is the way to kind of keep you even keel, right? Yeah. Go Throughout to, the day. Go to StrikeForceEnergy.com, promo code REVOLUTION, 20% off. Speaking of books, by the way, uh, Mr. Matt Best, you better be reading that book at, at Book Club next month. Yeah. I think they'll definitely be into that. They're all... Uh, it's hilarious. Pretty enamored with uh, young, young Matt. Mr. Matt. Mm -hmm. um, it's pretty, well, the book's really fucking funny, too. Some crazy sexual stories in it, too. Uh, you've not read it yet. Um, but go to thankyouformyservice.com. You have five days, six days to uh, get this signed by Matt himself. He's signing all of these copies. Uh, Pre-order them at thankyouformyservice.com. And uh, we're getting close. New York Times bestseller list. Book comes out next month. Pre-order. Make sure it's a hard copy. Those are the ones that, that really count. We're trying uh, to knock uh, who out? Mich Michelle Obama out of there. We can do it. I think so. Don't you think? I, yes, That's a I really do. good motivator. Her I book feel. has been out for a long goddamn time. Yeah. Like it's, it's Come time. on. It's time. We're, she can be done now. It's time. Shapiro knocked her off for a week. Nice. Ben Shapiro. So. All right. And I think, uh, Matt's go I think Matt's going on Shapiro's show. Perfect. For the book, so. Perfect. Hopefully they'll they'll chat about that. Last but not least, this is what you came for, sponsor wise. Our, our producer Jamie's already taking off his headphones over there. Uh, Straightrazors.com. Ooh, that's a clean cut, smooth. Oh, you right? There it is, James. There it is. Straightrazors.com's got everything you need in this life to be a real man, a real hombre. 
Uh, mustache waxes, beard oils, conditioners, shaving cream, shaving soap. Their straight razors are second to none. If you're worried about using a straight razor, you can use a safety razor. Get yourself a kit. They'll also engrave these fucking things too, which is great. Um, best in the biz to do it. Go to straightrazors.com, promo code REVOLUTION, 20% off. It's a big, a big savings there. Are you excited for New Orleans this weekend? I am. Have you ever had this like thing like in your eye where it starts like... Like a movie around you, it like twitch, it like twitches on its own. Yeah, and there's spasms. like nothing. Yeah, yeah. No, I spasm. heard it's from stress. Uh, sometimes it's also from sinuses, mm. or uh, a pollen, a little pollen in the air, some little, uh, you know. Heard it's from stress. So, um, you stressed out right now? No. Okay. No. Good. I wouldn't have anything to be stressed about. No, not one Everything's thing in this world. Everything's going smooth and, and amazing. Yeah. New Orleans, I am excited. What are we doing there? Well, so here's the thing. <laughs> We're going to the go, Rolling... Just go where I'm told. We're going to the Rolling Stones concert. Sure. Uh, you and I are big Stones fans, obviously. So we're doing that. And uh, obviously, we named our child after right. Mick. So, um, so this will probably be the last one, huh? That we go to. I think I think so, and that's, I think we that's why I bring to, it up. Yeah, so I think we need to, we keep going. And I think we need to decide, nope. you and I, no. when we're going to make the last one be our personal last one. And I, be like, we saw them. If any member of the band dies, I will not go. Right, I'm just saying like, they'll be dying at some point, right? Maybe, Soon? hopefully not. Okay. Hopefully not. No, we can keep going. Yeah, uh, hopefully they'll just keep pounding out hits. Um, there's nothing like a Stone show if you haven't been. They're still putting on three-hour shows. Oh, yeah. And they're incredible. But what I, I'm thinking maybe for this one, we go to the local spots in New Orleans. Like? Have you gone out, have you gone out to the, at like the edge of town and gone to the local bars and things like that? No. Really? What is that Maybe mean? we should do it this trip. Where is that, though? Um, just, out, just, just outside of town. Okay. Um, one of my beef fries, Clay Crawford, uh, he lived there for a while. Okay. And he was doing, fuck, it was either a movie or a TV show. I forget what it was. But he never went into, like, Bourbon Street and shit. Yeah, yeah. I would like to find other, yeah, pockets. The other thing is you've always wanted to see a dead body. Yeah. So, do you want to see... What, Jamie? A dead body in New Orleans at that place. What place? There's a place where you can go and, and like, like you can see dead bodies and shit. Sorry, what is it though? So what happens in New Orleans is you have to, you have to put the, uh, what do you call this, coffins in. Mm -hmm. Downwards facing up because of the flooding underneath the ground. Okay. Some of the bodies have flooded up and there's like this one place you go you can see like actual bones and arms and legs and shit like that. Is that something that you would be into? Or do you want to catch a fresh body? Is that your jam? Um, I want it to be in my dreams. Mm -hmm. It's um, very spontaneous. Okay. And it's something like, again, like I'm running with my pack, which I always have gloves and um, a print. You've got a swab kit, yeah. Yeah. In my bag when I'm running. So I want it to be kind of like that where you're like, what is that? Is that? Is it? Oh, my God, it is. Yeah. Call 911. Be the first one on the scene. Um, I don't actually understand what you're saying, but I guess I'll go. I'll check it out. I'll check it out. Yeah. The, the yeah. Yeah. I mean, of course. I mean, look, I'm game. And then I also love the whole, I, you know, the whole thing of New Orleans where it's very, you know, there's a haunted vibe. Yeah. They're very into, you know, that kind of stuff. Seances, voodoo, things like this. Well, I booked an old hotel. Okay. So you could be creeped the fuck out there, oh, obviously. Thanks, thanks, thanks. Yeah, 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 yes. yeah, 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 yeah. Um, so it's called Cities of the Dead. Okay. Um, with row after row of above ground tombs. Uh... Ooh. Yeah, above. Okay, yeah, yeah, above ground tombs. Yeah, sure. yeah, 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 yeah. I don't um, know if bodies are just laying around, but okay. What's that? 
I don't know if bodies are just laying around, but that's okay. There's another place where people can't afford to have funerals or afford like, uh, uh -huh. and then they go over here, but they're always washing up, they said. Okay. So does that creep you out? Yeah, but I'd go, but I want to go. <laughs> You want to go? Yeah. Okay, great. Yeah, All yeah, right. yeah, yeah, right. yeah. I'll hook that up. Right. Because there's a, there's a thing where you pay a dude and he'll take you. Now. Yeah. And they'll let you go in and take pictures and shit. Now, is it going to be a group? Because I don't yes, like the group. Yes, it'll be a group. Mm. It'll okay. be a group. Uh, and then if sure, you want, we'll do the outside the city experience where you go in the town where like uh, the locals are. And... And we I'm can do that. that, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because yeah. I know you're not a big New Orleans food girl. Um, no, I've gotten a couple recommendations of places to go, but yeah, for you have. In, in the for the most part, I don't love the uh, Creole. Scene. Yeah, 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 yeah. I wish Tony Thiesing. I think it, it, Tony was. Uh, he made the best mufaladas down there. Aren't we trying to meet up with him? Possibly. Somewhere? Okay. Potentially. It depends right. on what, what time we get in and all right, that other right, right. stuff. Uh, but yeah, those are the best goddamn sandwiches I've ever had in my life. Ever. And I've had them before, but I've never had and them like this. And he made them. Yeah. He's going on the cruise. I wish you'd bring oh, him on the okay, cruise. Nice, yeah. nice, nice. <laughs> I don't know if we could bring him on the cruise. Man, I, w I wish he would. <laughs> uh, would you be opposed to that if I said, hey, why don't you bring these sandwiches in? No, that's fine. <laughs> well, that's what I'm trying to think is like, so where good. can we like go and do meetup and stuff too? But yeah, well, trying look, to figure th that out. There's a ton of places in New Orleans. Yeah. Luckily. Yeah. So, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I I'm looking forward to it. Uh, I heard it's going to rain a little bit though. Yeah. It's been raining all through the South. Yeah. It's annoying. Anywhere actually. DC, like pretty much the, uh, half of the country has been raining. Is this this last few days? So we'll see. We'll see. We'll see what shakes out. But I'm excited. I'm always excited to go to New Orleans for some reason. It's just uh, it's our place. It's kind of like it, Carolina Beach in a way. No judgment. Oh yeah, no, yeah, definitely. Do no whatever. Judgment. You may not find great food, but it'll be a fun <laughs> adventure, right? Who told it's you? An adventure. Who told you about the restaurants? Uh, my friend Nikki. Okay. Um, her and her husband kind of do do things the way we do where we're like we'll try a bunch of stuff uh but yeah they, we like a certain decor okay so i'm sh i'm sure it'll be the same you know there's some people you get recommendations from and you're like yeah you took me to that one place and said it was good so yeah I last don't time I, believe you a lot because i was just there what uh for N nfl season so it's i don't know seven months ago um and a friend of mine who, who goes to that city a lot was like, oh, yeah, let's go to this restaurant. It was Emerald Lagasse's restaurant. Mm -mm, not good. And I was like, not there good. was some good items on there. Um, we ordered a bunch of shit. But, uh, you know, I want to find that divey little place yes. that you're just like, oh, yes. yeah. Yes. She did now tell me talking. about some, like, a uh, po' boy sandwich window kind of deal. Okay. Where, like, lines out the door, but it's like you just go into this little room and you get it from a window and it's like the best all different kinds of po' boy sandwiches but like the best in the city yeah like that kind of shit very dive and dry dive Dennis driving dives there you go triple d yeah yeah um do we have we talked about uh the cute best friend relationship between fieri and uh, matthew mcconaughey no it's been going on for years no under the radar i am in love with this didn't know that existed Yes. I'm a fan. Of I like both. Fury. I'm a fan both. of both. But yeah, bo and both are awesome. How much sense does this make, though, that they're friends in this weird way, right? They're both very much themselves. They are never anybody else. Even McConaughey, when he loses a bunch of weight, he's still fucking McConaughey, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. When he talks, he's McConaughey. Yeah. He's never, when he goes out, like, he doesn't try and be anything. Right. Other than himself, yeah. right? So... And that's kind of what they bonded over, I guess. Really? He loved, that's so, what somebody, that, this is somebody told you? So they've talked about it. He actually, Matthew McConaughey did the speech at his, at Fieri's ceremony. What did he get a star? Yeah, on the Hollywood. I didn't know that. Yeah. 
That's it's great. Super cute. But um, he did the whole speech and was just like, in a world where uh, you could be anything that you want, you decided to be you, and that ain't easy. Like that, uh, ain't, that ain't easy. Man. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so I guess he Matthew McConaughey was a fan of his cooking show mm -hmm. and called him and told him or whatever, and they kind of struck up this friendship. And they would always, the, their main conversation would always be like, how do you stay true to yourself in this business? And so Fieri had this crazy success that happened really quickly, right? Yeah. And so he called McConaughey and was just like, how, how do you deal, like how to deal with this? Did and they know I guess each other they, beforehand? They didn't know each other, but McConaughey had called him for recommendations he like ah. that's the level of fame that McConaughey is at, right? So okay. he could just call anybody yeah. and you will get through. And by the way, that really is how it works. Oh, totally. Because yeah. if you call Fieri, yep. like you're getting through. No one's going to drop that fucking ball, right? Yeah. So he gets through right away. He's going somewhere. Like that's what I think about when you say like, where do you want to go? New Orleans, whatever. I'm like, if I was at a level that I could call somebody, right? Fieri. Fieri and be like, hey, where are the like real deal yeah. down and dirty places that I should go. And he could give me the list. So that's basically what he did. And Fury was like, holy shit. And so I guess from that, they, and this is years ago, but from that they formed a friendship and they like get together and just get wasted and like talk about like, just you gotta be true to yourself, that's man. Great. And they like, he's been on uh, the show. Matthew McConaughey has been on triple D. Yeah. And it's so cute. I don't know why I love this friendship so much, but it seems like in the world of trying, exactly, trying to be something that you're not or getting, you know, likes or whatever it may be, like, Fieri really has. Like, he won't change the hair. He won't change the beard. He won't change his style of anything for anyone. And the amount of hate that he gets is insane. It is, yeah. And it he is. refuses to change. I, look, you don't, you're not going to get any hate from this corner. I love him. Oh, yes. Uh, and I do love all the messages, guys, about the Fieri nonsense. Bathing suits, shirts, all the stuff that you guys great. send me. I, look, I, we'd love to have him on the show. Oh, my God. I mean. It would be amazing. Um, and then McConaughey be will be back here in uh, about 45 days. Um, he always pops out for football season, college. Okay. He becomes super visible during college football season because he's always at University of Texas. Got it. All the home games, and they cut I'd away love to him. For like them to go together somewhere, but ninety yeah. times. Mm -hmm. um, uh, look, I, I don't know where Fury's from, but you know he's from California. I think. Oh, he is. Like straight. I up think you're from right. Northern yeah, 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 California. Yeah. 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 But uh, McCon you'll see a lot of McConaughey sightings during college football season, which we're getting really close to, and uh, that always warms my heart. I like when celebrities are into shit, sports, and things like that. Because uh, it's, I think it's so rare because most of them didn't go to college. <laughs> True, right? Yeah. So you're like, why are you supporting that? Oh, you went to school. Team? Yeah, there, yeah, there yeah. you go. Yeah, but that's true, huh? It, yeah, it'll be it'll be fun, and I'm I'm looking forward to the fall. Um, I'm after the fourth is kind of where I'm over summer, where I'm like, all right, I've had enough. Well, I've had enough of uh, the kids being at home <laughs> all day. <laughs> Not because I don't love them, because I do. But um, children crave routine. Yeah. Okay? And summer is the epitome of <laughs> too much free-for-all. It drives them crazy. They literally go nuts because they don't have something that they need to be, t be at. They, it drives them crazy. It really does. Yeah. and they It's not good. They start learning about things they shouldn't, like m my five-year-old, you know. He came like last night. He was just like, I want to stay up late. And I was like, why do you want to stay up late? And he goes, I want to watch the men's team play soccer. And I was like, uh -huh. bro, you've never even watched you don't soccer, even know. requested it, nothing. Yeah. All of a sudden, they're looking for things that they can extend bedtime on. Oh, where yeah. It's just like, all right, because they know I'm going to be up for it yeah, for the sports show watching it. So He's pretended to be into all kinds of stuff <laughs> to, get, <laughs> to stay up late. <laughs> And I go, bro, I'm with you. I fist bump him. I was like, I pretend to, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, but no, it's, it's this period where it's like, all right, again, 4th of July is over. It's one of my favorite holidays. We went really hard. So much so that I, I, I cannot have one drop of alcohol more this week. Um, and now obviously, I'll we're going to New Orleans this weekend. But. Yeah, and I'll still be, I'll still be hitting it. <laughs> 
But again, I keep it a steady two glass. Yeah, night. it's two glass um, wine. Yeah, again, I'm over it. Because uh, <sighs> you're you're at the end. Of, you're in the middle of July. Here's why I don't like it. Middle of July, really fucking hot. Right. Or rainy. Well, random storms pop up, but it's still hot, right? Mm. Uh, sports are done. You know, you're kind of, I think the home run derby's on tonight for baseball. Uh, like, that'll be fun. All-star game will be fun, but that's it. Like, that is it for a very long time. And so football starts, and it's just like, let's yeah, that's get out not, of this. Yeah, There's that's a not six my problem week gap where it's like, all right, cool. Yeah, but it's here's the thing. Issue. College football is lined up with when kids go back to school. Mm -hmm. same date so win for you win for me and that's where we can really shuttle out of this because uh, i'm I, i'm over it now I'm, I'm all done with it yeah so if anyone's wondering why their kids are just like complete nightmares different yep my kid's diff a different person right now <laughs> and it sucks i'm just like what is going on with you he craves it. He craves he the schedule. I, I get the same way. Like if I don't have anywhere to be, anything that I have to do, yeah, gets a little rough. If I'm not on vacation, I, you have to find something. There has to be something. You do, you do. Um, but yeah, that's it's. Uh, this is it right now. I'm I'm pretty tired of it. Yeah. Um, you know, I think that if look, if we were in California. Give them a little earthquake jam, you know, get a little jolt to their system on oh, there. Oh, yeah. And that would scare them enough to be like, hey, if you start doing this shit again, another earthquake's going to come. Did you uh, make sure all your ex-girlfriends were okay? Yeah, 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 obviously. Okay, good, good, good. Yeah, I called all of them. Because that's always, that's a good little... Um, Way back in. Reason, yeah, it's like, <laughs> it's kind of like, oh, uh, I heard, you know. Checking on just you. checking in on you, right? For the earthquake. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You got all those texts out. Got them all. Okay, out. good, good. Those yeah, are me all too, good. Me too. Emails, uh, the FaceTimes. Hope you're, hope you're well anyway, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. And then you wave like an American flag. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Happy Fourth Couple of July. Couple emojis and just kind of you're cool and breezy, super breezy. <laughs> you know, you're just making sure you're just checking, right? I didn't call anybody. I didn't either. I didn't call my friends, nothing. No, I mean, I ended up talking to my parents, but that was, I mean, talk about just, I mean, there were flames pretty much kissing my dad's face when I talked to him during the fires. Last year, yeah. And it was just like, yeah, I mean, I don't know. Probably go to the park, the motorhome at the brew pub yep. and have a good week. Yeah, and I'm like, topa. yeah, and like, they're just not worried. They're no. never worried. <laughs> so I, I don't have that in me. There's always like the people that text as soon as something happens, right? The a little bit of rain, I'll probably get a text from somebody, p family member, friend that's right. like, hey, heard about, are you guys okay? That thing. Mm -hmm. My parents do not have that like in them. And I think that's why I don't either. Like I'm always like, I'll find out like if they died or whatever. Do you know what I mean? Like on the new, I don't know. Like I'm never right. Yeah. Maybe I should have more of that. But, and I, I saw it in my parents when they, like one time my mom was here. And her neighborhood, her street was being evacuated, blah, 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 everything. And she was like, well, you know, I mean, that's life. Yeah. And I'm like, what? Like not freaking out, not calling anybody, not calling anyone to like check and see if they're like the will is OK or the insurance papers. You know, if I lose, I lose it. And it's like, I'm here. I have everything I need. Yeah, I think I, think I was just like, what the fuck? Most of my friends that are still left are single. So right. I'm just like, yeah, is it really? Oh, in L.A.? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If they died, it's like, it's okay. I'm you like, yeah, yeah, we're good, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, you're, yeah. you're fine. All um, your good friends got out, is that you mean? Yeah, they're going to miss what Orange Theory or whatever the fuck they go to. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, your, <laughs> yeah. Your yoga instructor is going to be right. gone. Like, what mm -hmm. do I, you know, yeah. what do yeah. I care? It does feel like something bigger is going to happen there, though. And yeah. this is the first time I'll, like, I I've actually thought this. So the whole place burning down didn't make you feel like. Uh, oh, the forest fires every year. It happens there. This forest fire that always happens there. Right. Okay. I didn't want to, I don't want to subscribe to that, but an earthquake, like that's a monumental thing where it's like an overpass is going down. 
Yeah, and you saw the cracks in the street, and there were many earthquakes back to back, and um, yeah, I mean, it kind of feels like it's going to fall into the ocean, but that was always known. At some point, it's going to happen, right? Yeah. Yeah, speaking of California, um, the uh, recreational marijuana legalization is actually tied to the decline in teens using weed, this, this new study says. I told you, man. If you make drugs legal, mm-hmm. people don't really give a shit anymore. It's that. It started in, it, but it started in California. This is where I noticed it the most. Where I, I think when I first moved there, people were still using drug dealers to get weed, right? Mm. And once it was the medical version of it, and you can go and get the fucking card and do the whole song and dance for that thing. People stop caring. People start calling drug dealers and all that other shit. Like, now that it's been out for so long, eh, what do you care? So when something's illegal, then uh, minors can usually still obtain it. Once you make it legal, and we saw this in Murder Mountain, right? That yeah. documentary yep. where once you make it legal, all those crazy low-level, you know, Dirt bags. Dirt bags, murder, people that are murdering people over weed or whatever, those all go down. So they're all shut down up there. They can't make any money anymore. Right. So there's no real suppliers that are able to illegally get it to anyone because there's no, the teenagers are not going to be the ones that keep them in business. Yeah. So that I think is more tied to it where those, those people, those dirty businesses have to close down and the only thing that's left is the legal avenues so it's not so much that they don't care anymore they just literally have not no access i mean they still do a little bit but it's definitely going to end right yeah that's like in murder mountain when you see those drug dealers coming into like the city hall or whatever the town meetings town hall meetings or whatever it is where they're right gonna legalize marijuana Mm -hmm. and they're in there petitioning and they have lawyers and stuff and they're just like dude what are you doing yeah like our livelihood is blah blah blah. your illegal business is that what you're talking about yeah yeah yeah. is that i mean is that really what's happening here (laughs) it was crazy right yeah that whole fucking like scene was just like the answer you're like oh this is how you end it and that's with everything i it's like i i was as soon as this study popped up today, I was just like, come on, man. I, I knew this. How, how do you not understand? Like, how does everybody else not understand this is what I don't get. Uh, I don't know, because it feels weird, right? It feels weird to le- like because the, the next thing to go in that way and what people are really talking about is the opioid and so heroin, right? Right. But you're like, oh, if you make it legal. Well, but again, yeah. that would be the answer. But you can't do that. That's crazy. So to a lot of people, that's the level, right? So to a lot of people, marijuana is as bad as they don't do anything, right? So it's like most of the people that are making the laws voting and stuff, like they don't really see a difference between like making marijuana legal or making any other drug because it's a drug. Yeah, I remember when I was in uh, Colorado and you saw in the news like the day it went, you know, legalization. There was lines up and down the street. People were smoking out. Yeah. I'm fucking, I can do this. When I, when I went there the last time, I was like, oh, man, I bet you it's going to be packed. I should probably get there early. There's nobody in there. I was like two of us in there, and you were like, all right, great. Yeah. And then every place you could smell weed, no one, no one gave a shit. And we were just like, it's where we are. Yep. Um, today, if I see somebody smoking a jewel and there isn't weed in it, I'm shocked at that. Right. I'm like, oh, is that, is that tobacco in there still? Huh. Yeah. That's something you don't see every day. I know. Um, it's weird. It's weird. Everybody's got the pens and it's just kind of a, a normal thing and nobody gives a shit. Super normal. Yeah. No one fucking cares. Um, and CBD's like that now too. I mean, they're advertising it at the gas station. Yeah. On but, the pumps. Mm. Where that used to be a thing for a while too. It was just like, oh my goodness. CBD. It's still weird. Yeah. I mean, they're, they are literally selling it inside of our gas stations now. We're just yeah. like, oh, all right, cool. Fuck. Um, so we'll see. Do you have a crime corner, Jabes? Ooh, I do. Yeah, crime corner, crime corner. Crime corner. 
Um, this comes to to us from a couple detectives. Ooh. Dave the Crazed and, <laughs> and Benway, Eric Benway. Is it Benway okay, or Benoit? Guys? Benway? Benoit? No, I'm kidding. I, I always like B-N- to say Benoit boss. Oh. B N W A Y. I've gotten one from him before. Detective uh, Eric Benway. Cool. Yeah, and Dave the Crazed. Okay, guys, thank you so much. <laughs> what? <laughs> so, Florida man accused of stealing more than 70 floating pool toys for sex. Uh, and look, he's actually is, is he he's actually sex with a d- yeah. Okay. He's actually done the right thing here, guys. Okay? What and mean, not what? Now hear me out. <laughs> what what do you mean? What are you going to ask? What did he do that was the, the, so the right thing? The right thing is not raping actual people, okay? Okay. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So the wrong thing would be actually sex crimes against people. Okay. Okay, so the Palm Bay Police Department has arrested a man they said stole uh, pool float toys for sex, for sex instead of raping women. Mm. Okay, so right there, hero. Yes. Christopher, 35. Um, so, so according to the police department, uh, Chris was seen acting suspiciously on Thursday around 1.25 a.m. when an officer confronted him as he was riding his bike they said he admitted to having deflated pool floats in the bag he was carrying. In the past seven months, the city of uh, Palm Bay had been plagued with burglaries of their pool floats. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was just such a strange phenomenon that was happening. Mm-hmm. Go outside, want to play in the pool, want to play with the kids. Boom, float, gone. Where did it go? Fly away? Or is rapes. what you would first yeah. thing, right? Yeah. You would not first go to... You know what? I bet it's getting raped somewhere, right? Yeah, no, I probably wouldn't. So the first thing I would think was flo- wind took it. E- so it's actually yeah. amazing to me that people were reporting it because mm-hmm. <laughs> I can't imagine calling the cops <laughs> for something like that. I mean, listen, I went to Walmart the other day and it, I mean, 569 was, a, was the, the most expensive pool float. So I don't, I don't know if I'm calling the cops again for (laughs) for that kind of thing but about 75 uh floats were found in his possession and reports say that uh chris stated that he sexually gratifies himself with the pool floats instead of the raping that he wants to be doing on women and again i have to say i like this yeah i like that um prostitutes are another thing that you know could have been the answer he was probably not couldn't pay for them Mm -hmm. but you know if you are you know doing your stuff to to not do bad things to other people i think that's proactive yeah if you're gonna go out and rape a pool toy you know they say what what kind they were possible thing you can do right best outcome as a rapist what's what's uh what were they flagging him for like what kind of pool toys you know um, like a swan or a, yeah what was we he saw into? a bull one at the pool the other day like gosh a, no that would have been he would have really gotten off on that one off on that one that literally. was literally that was a bull that you ride on in the water yep and you everyone around it looked it was looked really annoying actually but everyone around around the bull shakes it right yeah yeah it was really <laughs> annoying um and then the big swans um it, it, I'm sure it has to be something that is animal uh, or human-like. Do you know what I'm saying? Sure. I don't. I, I don't. I wouldn't see him getting off on just those regular, you know, yeah, a donut or a pizza one. No, you I don't know see that I mean? either. Yeah, it's got to be. I think something there has to be some ridge. kind of uh, human or animal trait yes. given to the float. Again, the swan would be a good one. It's sex. It's a sexy one, the swan one. Yeah, for sure. Like you've probably definitely been like, eh. you know what I mean? Like, don't lie that you haven't thought about it. Yeah. When you see the the swan one in the water, I know for a fact that you have. You've confided in me that you do. So. <laughs> every every time I see it, gets my boner Just a going a little bit. You go, like yeah. for a second, you think, what? Are, 
You know what I mean? So it's my I know you going. understand this guy. And um, again, calling the police about the float is actually the biggest crime I see in this whole story. Same. Same okay. here. Yeah, for sure. Wasting the time of, of policemen, uh, I think, is the biggest crime. Yeah. And that's what these people have done. Let the guy fucking take your Walmart float and do whatever he wants so that he doesn't rape you. You know what I mean? Great answer. Great answer for everything. Find me the victim. You know what I mean? Can't. Victimless crime. Can't. Uh, let's get to the revolutionary figure of the day, shall we, Jabes? We shall. Um, I, this is, is going to go to a friend of mine, actually. Um, Ahmad Best. Ahmad Best. Um, we were joking around and calling him. Jar Jar Binks was trending again on Twitter this morning mm -hmm. for no reason <laughs> whatsoever. Okay. Um, I don't know why. Nobody else knows why. This fucking dude. So I didn't know this. I hired him on a couple of my movies. And one was the first one was Pool Boy Drowning Out the Fury. Mm -hmm. Right. And we were shooting and we uh, shooting it was a very long day together. Somebody comes up to me and they're like, oh, shit. You didn't know you cast Jar Jar Binks for this movie. And I was like, huh? And they were like, this, this dude. And I was like, it was on my best. And I was like, what, what do you mean? And they were like, oh, we played Jar Jar Binks. And I was like, isn't that a gigantic costume? Like. Who the fuck knows who that is? I, I have no idea who that is. Mm -hmm. And they're using, they're using some other animated voice or whatever, right? Uh, I hired him again for another movie just because he was, he was fucking hilarious. I don't give a shit about Jar Jar Banks nor Star Wars things. Like, I don't care anything about that shit, right? And I hired him again, and he brought it up to me, and he was just like, yo, man, I appreciate the opportunity and all this stuff. Like, it's been hard after being Jar Jar Banks or whatever. And I was like, really? Why? Um, and he's like the internet fucking hate. It's, it's the most hated character in any movie. I guess in movie history, there was like a poll done, right? Sure. And, and it was this and they blame him. And it was like, I'm people it's trending right now. And, and they've got a photo of him. I'll show this to you after the show. But again, he's got to pull up the thing just so you can even see his face. What is Stop it? coming off to this fucking guy. Um, like, yeah, I just, he put out he's he went into tmz and said something where like he thought about suicide and all this other stuff because the hatred was so intense like dude stop coming after this guy for for whatever reason like this is the first time i can remember a dude was stuffed this is why he's revolutionary you're stuffed inside of a giant costume yeah it's not the same voice it has nothing to do with you physically they're literally just blaming you for being inside of a costume now you're giving people way too much credit. Am yeah, I? Yeah, yeah. That's exactly what they would do. Ugh, God, man, it sucks. So it just keeps popping up on the feed, and it's like, man, leave this guy alone. I, I again, I don't know how you're going to hate a guy inside of a fucking CGI costume, like, um, because you have to hate somebody. It has to be somebody's fault, and that I is guess. with everything. I mean, I'm even looking at the arms, like, in this one suit that he's got on. It's, I, I don't know how you would make out that this is the dude or whatever. I can say this. In real life, he's, like, the nicest guy on the planet. And he's fucking hilarious. Go back and watch FDR American Badass. Uh, he was, uh, he played the, the butler in that. Um, and then, uh, and then Pool Boy Drowning at the Fury, he played uh, Sidney Moncrief. And he's really fucking funny and an awesomely talented dude. I, I don't know where they found him and just continue to fucking punish this guy. How long ago was that? Sweet troll, though. Yeah. It was kind of... I, when did that movie... The movie came out in, in like the mid-90s, I want to say. So 25 years of hating somebody was inside of a costume? Like, dude, had nothing to do with it. Right. Um, I, yeah. Again, I can't remember anything about it. Uh, last but not least here, before we get off the air, and I'd love to play us out with this, if that's cool. Because we can get away with shit on the audio show that we can't do on the video show. YouTube will flag us for this. So, uh, The new Post Malone song. Oh, it was very good. Great. Guy just keeps dropping hits, doesn't he? It's insane. Uh, these are like one-offs. I, I don't know if a new album is coming. I can't imagine it would be because he's been on a, like a ridiculous, relentless tour schedule for the last year. So I don't know when he would ever have time to do this. But he's been dropping a single like once every four months, and they're all fucking amazing. Uh, wow. The, yeah. The Sunflower song from the Spider-Man, Spider-Verse movie. Um, and then this one, it's called Goodbyes. So we'll lead us out of here with that, and it's him and Young Thug. Uh, dude, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, uh, you keep dropping bangers. And uh, 
I appreciate it, Posty. You got to come on the show. I love you. Uh, for Jesse Wiseman, a.k.a. The Jables, I am Ross Patterson. This is The Revolution. Good night, everyone. You just you stopped. Uh, you were about to say something else. No? Oh, good night. <laughs> we'll cut it at that one.